Nidhi Chaudhary, Product Marketing Manager from the Microsoft 365 Core and Copilot team. You've already seen how Copilot for Microsoft 365 is a productivity game changer. But let's face it, for Copilot to fit seamlessly into the fabric of your business, you'll likely need to tailor it to your very specific business needs, your data, your workflows, your processes and policies. That's where Copilot Studio comes in. In this session today, we'll talk about how you can use Copilot Studio to customize Copilot for the way you work, and we'll even do a short demo to bring it all to life. Copilot Studio is a low-code tool that unlocks new Copilot capabilities through plugins. You can connect Copilot to your data outside of the Microsoft Graph using pre-built or custom plugins, create and orchestrate workflows, and manage your Copilots in one central place. Copilot for Microsoft 365 customers can use Copilot Studio for customization to provide tailored responses and workflows for unique scenarios. All of this is available in public preview today. Let's go a little deeper. Copilot Studio enables you to customize and extend Copilot for Microsoft 365 to work the way you need, all governed through IT. One, you can use it to give Copilot the skills to read your data in other systems of record, like CRM, ERP, line of business apps. It can connect with databases, custom backends, legacy systems that may even be on premise. This is one of two ways you can extend Copilot to work with data outside of the Microsoft environment. And it's best suited when you want Copilot to work with real time transactional data from your other data sources. All of this is possible by creating plugins using 1200 plus standard and premium connectors. Now that Copilot can speak to your data and apps, you can extend it to incorporate business processes unique to your organization and the systems you use every day, thanks to Power Automate within Copilot Studio. For example, you can have Copilot help with expense management, HR onboarding, IT management, and more. Copilot Studio is also where you can configure Copilot to provide tailored responses on nuanced topics, such as legal requests, sensitive HR topics, or finance and compliance inquiries. This can all be centrally managed by IT and secured with the right access, user controls, and analytics. Now, this all comes as part of your Copilot from Microsoft 365 subscription. But there's a lot more to Copilot Studio that is outside of Copilot from Microsoft 365. Organizations can use Copilot Studio and its local tooling to build their own conversational Copilots and publish on a channel of their choice. Let's have a brief look at both sides of Copilot Studio. As we've already talked about, Copilot Studio in Copilot from Microsoft 365, this extend side, it can help you customize Copilot by connecting it to your diverse data sources, orchestrating workflows, and tailoring Copilot to respond in a specific way to certain topics. But outside of that, Copilot Studio can also help organizations build custom conversational Copilots with an out-of-the-box LLM rules-based orchestration, and plugins. These are independent of Copilot from Microsoft 365 and can be embedded into a company's website, for instance, to serve customers or added to a SharePoint page to assist employees with specific functions like HR or IT. Coming back to using Copilot Studio to customize Copilot from Microsoft 365, plugins are at the heart of it all. In simple terms, Plugins are a way to help Copilot communicate with additional business systems through the form of APIs. With Copilot Studio, you can design plugins using reusable building blocks like connectors, author with a visual canvas, and publish and manage it all through IT. In the past, traditional pro code plugin development was challenging. You needed a team of pro developers at hand with the expertise. Development could take time be costly to integrate, and hosting the infrastructure could be complex, or even establishing the specific security policies of your solutions could be complex. When you bring low code into the equation of plugin building, it can help accelerate innovation while reducing costs. Low coders and developers can build faster together, optimize business processes with Visual Design Studio, 
and it's all managed and monitored through the IT Admin Center. Here I have a couple examples for the types of plugins that you can create thanks to the connectors included in Copilot Studio. These are great knowledge retrieval examples like what are my open leads? What about employee profile information? Invoices available? This is just the beginning as we continue to make plugins more intelligent. So let's have a look at how it works. You're in Copilot for Microsoft 365 and find that it cannot do something you want, maybe tell you about a specific topic or look up some specific data. So you discover and launch Copilot Studio from within Copilot. Using Copilot Studio's intuitive graphical interface, you build new topics that you want Copilot to handle. You can look up enterprise data, expose generative answers, call your backend APIs and more. Once you're done building the plugin, you publish it back to Copilot. And now when you ask Copilot the same question again, voila, it's able to answer your request. Let's jump into a demo to see this in action. So here we are in Copilot. It's great that Copilot can be your one-stop shop for all business questions and processes. Let's ask Copilot a question on a business problem I'm working on. What are the lead times for the supplier Alpine Ski House? But the response isn't what I'm looking for. You can see that it says it cannot find the information that's relevant to me. And that's because out of the box, Copilot doesn't know information about my supply chain and the systems that I use to run my supply chain. But if you look right here, you can see that there is an option to use Microsoft Copilot Studio to create my own extensions and my own logic and data sources inside of Microsoft Copilot. Let's click through to Microsoft Copilot Studio. You can see Copilot Studio shows all kinds of different options for plugins and for tasks and more. I'm going to create what's called a conversational plugin. A conversational plugin allows me to chain together multiple steps like data lookup or text summarization in order to provide a reply. And I can use this conversational plugin from inside of Microsoft Copilot. So let's get started and create a conversational plugin. If we have a look here at the trigger, we can see that it provides information about what the conversational plugin is going to do. And this information is useful because it's registered back with Microsoft Copilot. So it will only invoke my extension and Copilot Studio when a user asks the relevant question. This conversational plugin is going to be used whenever an employee is asking questions about supplier metrics and performance. And this can be any other topic you can imagine. Just you have to describe it in natural language. I'll just go ahead and select that now. Now, this step will run in response to a question from an end user. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create what's called a generative answer. A generative answer allows me to go from existing knowledge, resources, and content that I specifically curate and choose to have it reply inside of Microsoft Copilot. And what generative answers provides is a simple experience where I can configure particular websites or SharePoint sites. Or I can even configure Azure OpenAI services where I can pull the information to reply back to the user. So as you can see here, you can also connect to what you configure in Azure AI search if you're sharing that data across lots of copilots. In my case, I could simply configure it just to use a public supplier website. But I want to use an internal SharePoint site where docs about my supplier are collected. To do that, I'm going to link to the specific doc in the SharePoint site. And now I can query data in a secure, compliant way and integrate it inside my Copilot. And here you can see I have this 20-page document that I'm linking to. Now, what I've done is I've configured the link to the SharePoint site. So I just pass in the text, so the information that the user puts out of Microsoft Copilot. Now, when we go back and ask the same question as earlier, I'm getting information tailored to my company from that SharePoint site very easily. But that's not enough. My doc is static. It just shows the product list and information as it was posted maybe once a week or once a month before. Now, I've built this topic and I can publish it back to Microsoft Copilot. And I can use this inside of Microsoft Copilot and ask a question and get back an answer because I've configured that experience in Copilot Studio. 
I want to be able to look up information from suppliers in real time. I can do that too in Copilot Studio. Let me go back to Copilot Studio and I'm going to create a new conversation for you. And just like before, I'm going to configure it to trigger when an employee asks about supplier metrics and performance. I want to go back to my SAP system. We can see here, I can choose an action to call out to SAP and I can execute functions to do real-time data queries pulling from my SAP backend because my information isn't always in a website. It's not always on Azure. It's not always in Microsoft 365. Sometimes the information I care about is going to be inside of SAP or another business system. In fact, we have over 1,200 data connectors available to be used inside of Copilot Studio. The connectors play a pivotal role in facilitating seamless integration and data flow across a wide array of external systems, databases, and cloud services, including Azure SQL database, Azure Logic Apps, on-premises, or cloud-based SQL server databases, and many more. Now, I choose to read that SAP information and resolve the connection, and that could work on-premise or in the cloud. Then I just do a simple configuration to select the table command that I want to execute to read from my supplier history data table, which will use the context that the user provided inside of the Copilot chat to look up the relevant information. But doing that is not enough. I also want to take the information from earlier and use it to make another call to another system. And to do that, I have to use a custom connector that I've registered. The custom connector is available as just a RESTful API that I've already published in Azure. You can use GitHub and Visual Studio to build custom apps and you can easily expose an API from any of those and call it using this API connector. And this can be behind Azure API management or anywhere else. I can just invoke it to look up real-time information about supplier quality metrics. This is chained after that SAP call. So when I execute this step, basically in response to the message from the user in Microsoft Copilot, I'm calling SAP, and then I'm making a call to an internal system. But I don't just want to return this raw data. I actually want to generate a synthesized response across these two systems in order to reply back to the user. And to do that, I'm going to use a custom generative response. So I just pass in the information from that supplier quality metrics, and I create a summary of that information very easily to reply back to the user. And what's great is you can see I'm giving instructions. These are prompts that I'm providing to the generative AI model, in addition to the information from the supply quality metrics API to generate the response. Now that I've configured that, I'm just going to go up here in the upper right-hand corner and I'm going to publish to Microsoft 365 Copilot. So I publish that and I now go back to the Copilot chat. I'm going to ask the same question. What are the lead times with supplier Alpine Ski House? And there we have a reply. And if I go zoom in and look at this, you can see an incredible amount of information. It's telling me that Alpine Ski House delivers products within 10 days of order placement. And over the past six months, they've maintained an on-time delivery rate of 86% for all of our orders. This is not from a public website. This is not available inside of Microsoft 365. This is not available inside of the foundation model itself. I've had to go out and build this integration using Copilot Studio. And what this shows is the incredible ability to use Copilot Studio to use your existing APIs and data sources to enrich Microsoft Copilot, all in a seamless, integrated, end-to-end -end experience. Hopefully, in this session, what you will take away is how simple Copilot Studio makes it to extend Copilot from Microsoft 365, or possibly build your own Copilots. But don't just hear it from me. Try it for yourself at aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio. And be sure to catch us at Microsoft Build for more exciting announcements.